I'm going to begin. I just I, mean, I wanted to know about what cinematic potential you first saw in this when you heard of, uh, when, you, when you, in your friend's story because I've got friends who've kind of run the marathon and yeah. who've achieved great things. But you saw something and thought there's a movie in this. And having seen it, I mean, rightly so. I mean, this is what it's a fantastic piece of cinema. But yeah, what was it that made you think I can turn this and her experiences into a fe feature film? Well, I knew that it, two things. One it was a very intimate personal journey, and film is best for close-ups and sort of getting that raw emotionality from the lead character. The whole movie happens within Jillian Bell as Brittany's heart and soul and eyes, and you have to be really close to capture that. The other thing is it's literally about a woman going across a city and running a, a huge race that's epic in scope and taking her life from sort of a life where she has small sort of vision for herself to grand visions for herself. Mm -hmm. And so both the personal and the macro, I thought, were great things to explore in movies. Mm -hmm. And how much respect and admiration have you had, have you sort of grown for people, particularly getting into the head of, of, of Brittany here, uh, for people that have, have run the marathon? It's an incredible achievement, isn't it? I can't even believe it. I mean, we got to, you know, without giving spoilers away, get to experience a little bit of the marathon and, and seeing all of those people come together with this shared goal, this shared vision of, of crossing this finish line. It just feels so epic. Yeah. Uh, it was very emotional. People run it for so many different reasons, and but it's all the same reason, which is a, a sense of personal triumph. Mm -hmm. And watching 50,000 people every year, I mean, every year, the New York City Marathon, if I go and I watch, spectate or cheer, it's emotional because 50,000 people, their dreams are coming true and they're proving to themselves that they can set out to do what they proved to do. I always just go, whenever I, I see people finish, I would just feel really upset that I haven't got that same sense of <laughs> triumph. Oh, I feel the opposite. Uh, I really? feel like the donut and the coffee I'm having are perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and how is it shooting in at the sort of marathon? Because I mean, I, I guess, because I, I, I was reading some of they've only ever let documentary crews in before, but you were shooting a, a you know a fictional sort of piece of cinema. So yeah. How was that? That must have been quite I chaotic. Mean, Crazy. Yeah, it was unreal. I, I think a lot of people thought we were shooting a documentary because they kind of left us alone. They didn't look into the camera too much. Right. Um, people were kind of being helpful throughout it, and we were like, oh, it's okay, thank you, you know, because they didn't know it was a film yeah. we were shooting. Uh, but um, There were also a lot of limitations. As helpful as they were, there were only four of us. Yeah. Five of us. We were all picking up gear yeah, after just we sort shoot of, something. Yeah, running as fast as we could to get from one shot to the other. Because I was, I was talking to, I mean, one of the themes as well I loved in this is that I was sort of obsession with social media. That sort of plays a big part in this. And that kind of, that hunger or validation we get from kind of online yeah. likes. I mean, I, I, I'm just wondering about, about exploring, the importance of exploring that in, in cinema. Because I was thinking, you know, for the next generation below ours, I mean, kids have got, are using things like Instagram at school. And I think the last thing I would have needed at school is an actual oh. number of people that liked me. <laughs> like, Can you imagine? Yeah. Sounds terrible. Yeah. And just having, there are so many choices I made in high school that <laughs> I thought like so many haircuts it, I would yeah. wanted online. I, I'm so glad I didn't have the responsibility of a social media platform in high school. That would have been a nightmare. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, it's not just high school. It's mm -hmm. now. You know, it's every age. It, we're using these tools to identify ourselves and show the world who we are in you know the, what everyone's already come to figure out is not a real way. And so, exploring how your life can be affected by comparing yourself to somebody else's fake life is, is something we wanted to look at. Because also, I mean, the character, she going out and running is almost symbolic of, of pushing away that sort of lifestyle, isn't it, as well? And just sort of getting out into the sort of open air and, and not having access all the time to your phone. Um, were you guys inspired by that in some ways? Because when I saw the film, I felt like when I, I was on my way back and I was sort of just walking down the street yeah. sort of lost, and I thought, oh, no, I should do what Britney just did. And well, I didn't jog, but I just, <laughs> you know, looked around me for a change. Yeah, I've, mm. I have personally made a con a real effort to stop looking at my phone. And I've done that in waves. I did it before the movie. But since the movie, I've done it too, where I have, like, Instagram first thing in the morning is a big no mm. right now. You know, that's something you have to lose your uh, <laughs> lose your uh, self-control <laughs> to get to. Yeah. <laughs> that's around 3 p.m. My eyes have started hurting in a new way. Uh, I don't know if that's being 35 or just I am looking at my phone too much. So now I'm trying to just stop that in general yeah. because it's actually physically hurting me <laughs> to be on Instagram too much. And I was very poor if, 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 if what, what you've sort of got next coming up for this. I, I mean, I think you could do sort of a series. You could have sort of Britney Climbs Everest next or something. You could just keep doing things oh, like Britney. Just so many Britney films. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what we could do. <laughs> 
We're, we're into it. The older you get, just Britney, sure. Britney climbs the stairs when you get sort of into your sort of 70s, 80s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh Britney climbs the stairs going. in the 80s. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I think a lot of 80 year olds would be offended by Britney, that, though. Britney, They'd be like, yeah, sure, we climb stairs. Yeah, Britney, Britney commits to a fiber regimen. <laughs> <laughs> Britney makes a smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have an answer to we don't, that we, one. We, don't, we clearly don't have it yeah. yet. But When inspiration strikes, sure. we will be on set. Sure. <laughs> and you're, you're in the new Bill and Ted. I is am. That, is that, is that, have you shot, like, what was it like working with, with Alex and, and Keanu on that, on that project? Oh, they're great. Yeah. They're great human beings. And uh, they're very funny. And it was fun to see them get back into character. Mm. Um, I know, I can't say too much about the film. Mm. But uh, I, I really enjoyed working with them. I shot for only a couple of days in New Orleans. But... I'm excited to see what it looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Nice. Hey! hey.